Michael, congratulations. Thank you. Playing a player like Ryan who's pushed you to play so well, that's the perfect start to the tournament, isn't it? Of course, I think this is what I've probably missed last year. Games like this, that keeps you going in a tournament and they give you confidence. How is your confidence coming into this year's William really World Championship? After a performance like this, you can't really complain. I think my confidence is good, but you still have to do it game after game. And you can't look too far ahead because there's a lot more to go. You come into it having just been the Players' Championship Finals yeah. winner. You're the favourite for the title again. Am I? You are. You were favourite before we started. But does that in itself just mean something to you? I don't care. You just have to win every game. That's the only thing that counts for me. And you have to look round by round, game by game, and don't make any mistakes. Because if you make mistakes, they uh, they will be on your ticking on your shoulders, and they want to win they win the game as well. But by your own admission, this year there have been harder times than you're used I, to. I, I'm always I'm always on the mission, and people know me, and I work hard for that. And I know there's still a lot more to uh, to, to work for, but I'm getting close to it. So when you go and put in a performance like that, any of the troubles that you've had in recent months, they just disappear, that's gone. If you play like this, you can beat anyone and that's what you have to uh, rely on, believe in and that's really important. What would a fourth William O World Championship title mean to you come January? It means a lot, but it's a little bit far away still. Still, uh, I've, got, I've got Christmas to go, a few more games and then you might think about uh, a title, but. I always look round by round, game by game, and don't make any mistakes. You're welcome. Michael, with the Players' Championship win and the average here today, do you think the rest of the field now fear you again? Yeah, they don't have to fear me, but then uh, I will bite really hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, if you play games like this and when you feel this confidence, I know there's, uh, I know there's more to get and more to go for, and you have to work hard for it, and yeah, I feel good. The catalyst for this resurgence, obviously, this is the first time in a long, long time, the world number one spot has been under threat. Was that something that you thought of coming into this? No, but I always said to everyone before as well, I think the ranking system is not right. I've said that before, uh, probably a million times. I think they should go for a point system, because anyone who wins two world titles, Will, will be will be number one regardless whatever he wins in the rest of the year. So I think that that's not perfect, but yeah, if they want to have it that way, yeah, you have to take it, simple as that. You, know, you said another interview is obviously going home for Christmas. Is that, yeah, yeah. Is that a slight concern with everything that's going on at the moment? The, the I, I, I'm allowed to go home tomorrow morning and uh, the, the, of course that was quite important for us uh, uh, to, to relax, to have some days with, uh, with my own family and make sure you get prepared for the next game and after that of course I stay over in the UK and uh, as a sportsman elite we are allowed to, uh, we are allowed to, <laughs> we are allowed to travel and that's yeah, really important for us and yeah, the only thing I can do is make sure I get prepared for my next game. Welcome, You're welcome. Michael, I guess a very different feeling this year, walking out with no fans to, to previous years. It was really, was really weird, mate. It, so was, uh, really it was something I probably never thought this would happen in my life. Uh, but yeah, it's reality now and you have to adjust to it. And it's not that easy. I had a lot of problems with adjusting to no crowds, having a different mindset. But I think I did the right thing, putting everyone under... Uh, Took a lot of losers on my chin first, and after that I come back really strongly. And then now I keep putting the other guys on the, under pressure, and I think it works out quite well. The uh, Call of Duty for you over the two days or solid practice? Both. <laughs> my wife knows what I do later in the hours. For, she go mo most of the time she goes to bed at like 10 o'clock. So and then I say, yeah, I have a game of Call of Duty. And I most of the time go to bed like 12, 12:30. So I have two hours. That's the only two hours I go off because during the day I have practice. Look after the kids, and that, that's that's my life to be. That's my day. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. Michael, was there a moment there where you thought he was playing so well that you might find he was yourself playing in a similar situation but I, to what he had before? I knew I was playing well as well, and I, I know I can rely on that, and I know I can rely on my own ability, especially when I'm in that zone and when I'm playing that well. Then I know there's I'm not going to make a massive fall and play absolutely nothing and uh, that's really important that you can 
do you believe in your own ability and your own uh, possibility and yeah, from there on uh, I think I won this game and I was confident and I think there's more to come. And um, with respect to the Grand Slam where we sort of reflected on the year as yeah. it's been, but you said nobody else has dominated as well. No. What, what are your reflections on the darting year? Well, the darting year, of course I'm disappointed with my own performance this year, but uh, then some, someone told me this year I had the most uh, uh, ranking money of outside of all the other players and I couldn't really believe it but it was true and yeah but for, for me the only thing that counts is winning tournaments and that's the most important thing and uh, wherever it's been a few months ago now but this is the most important time of the year when you need to make sure you're in your A game and I think I'm doing it at the moment. Brilliant. You're welcome. Um, Michael, just one me. Would if you won the World Championship allow you to forget the rest of this year? No, no, of course not, because you always need to take it in mind and you, you always need to make sure you use it also to make sure you don't do it again and sharpen it yourself, make sure you play better, invest in yourself. A lot of players don't do that, but I, I always keep doing that. Wherever I'm playing crap, good, keep, keep believing in yourself and always uh, looking forward and always be positive and, because that's the only uh, medicine and of course, we're winning, ga winning games. That's the only medicine to, to, to look forward. Cheers. I think we just going to do a separate bit off camera for the newspaper guys.